Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the door glass on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number two square head screwdriver and maybe a putty knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll start by opening the door up fully. Then we're going to remove these three screws that secure the hinge to the front panel. And they may be in there quite tight, so you may need to use some penetrating fluid to loosen them. Now as you remove the last screw, you'll want to support the weight of that door or have somebody help you. There is a hook that will hold it from falling off of the front panel, but it's easy enough to jar it and knock it loose, so use a little caution when you remove that last screw. I'm going to lift up on that whole assembly. We'll remove that door and then we can set it on a suitable work surface to change the part. Now with the door on a suitable work surface we're next going to remove all of the screws that secure the inner door panel to the outer door panel and we'll also need to remove the two screws that secure the door hook or door catch to the door. Once we have all the screws removed, we next need to separate those inner and outer door panels. That's where the putty knife will come in handy. If you get into that gap, you can also go in just above the hinge and start it there. Try not to damage either the inner or outer panels. Once you've got it started, it should lift right off, and then we'll just set that aside. Now with the inner door panel removed, we now have access to remove the Now with the inner door panel removed, we now have access to remove the door glass if yours is still intact. If it was broken, you'll want to clean up any broken glass that may be in this area. But if it is still intact, we're just going to carefully lift that away from the outer door panel. And there are a couple of little indicator notches on that plastic holder. Isn't what we call that thing. What do we call that? We'll try that again. Now, with the inner door panel removed, if your glass is still intact, you'll want to lift that off carefully and just take your putty knife, put it under one edge, lift it off, and discard the old door glass. If your glass was broken, you'll want to vacuum out any of the pieces that may be caught in between the outer door plastic and this frame. Once we've got that done, we'll install our new glass. Now there are a couple little indicator notches on that glass that will match up with 
spots on the actual door itself. And we just want to make sure that the narrow end of the glass is at the top of the door. And the easiest way, way to tell which is the top, once you've gotten it apart, is on the hinge, there's a little hook and that's on the top of the door. Just make sure it sits flat and flush. Make sure our hinge is still in position and then we can put the inner door panel back on. We'll begin by lining it up with the single screw spot in between the arms of that hinge. Make sure those snap down nice and flush all the way around and then we'll reinstall the screws. We'll also want to make sure that we put the door hook back in place and there is a little notch on that door catch or door hook that lines up with a tab on the inner door panel. So then just go ahead and put all the screws back in. Oops, that's not right. And we want to make sure that we have the door catch in its right position. There's a little notch on the side of that door hook that lines up with a projection on the inner door panel. And these are the two tapered flathead screws that secure that hook to the inner door panel. caution that we don't over tighten these screws although they do need to be tight we just don't want to strip them because they are going into plastic now once we have all the screws tightened up we can now put that door assembly back on the washer. So we're just going to lift that door and we'll line up that hook with the rectangular opening in the front panel. Make sure it's seated properly. And then we'll install the retaining screws. And then make sure all three screws are tight and securely. Check the operation of the door and our repair is complete.